Hi everyone, it's Miss here, and welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for stopping by today, whether you're new or um, returning. Um, I thank you, and if you are returning, um, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful. Um, so today we're going to be doing week nine in the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge, um, and that would be hashtag 2024CW9. Um, I will be working in a book that I picked up from uh, the thrift store. Um, I thought that I would uh, attempt to do uh, my collages uh, in a little bit different uh, format because now I'm sort of using one page as last year I was uh, doing a moleskin journal um, uh, book. So I'm just trying to find my... Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. Um, the prompts today are a wild animal, a tree with blossoms, part of a recipe you enjoy making, a book page, something that came in the mail, and bonus, a date or anything from a calendar. Um, so I'm going to start with putting down um, just some background. And this paper that I'm using is actually something that came in the mail. Um, and it came in some happy mail that um, I was sent from Barbie over on Nellie and Ruth Designs. Um, and I've been waiting uh, to use this on something special. Uh, so today is the day. I just absolutely loved um, this paper. And uh, I thank you, Barbie, so much for thinking about me. And I'm just going to kind of get it down. I'm just trying to keep a little bit of a gusset on the side in case I do have to um, cut the pages out to to put them in a I was thinking maybe at the end if this book falls apart or something then I would um, just put them in a like a ringed uh, maybe make a, a binding uh, out of it with my cinch um, okay so I'm just going to get this down somewhere there um, and isn't that gorgeous? I just love that paper, the colors. Um, so for my book page, I'm actually going to use, I've got a couple of book pages, um, but the book that I'm using is the dictionary. Um, and the reason that I chose it is um, because of the word uh, bloom, blossom, which is sort of the theme of my, uh, it's going to be the theme of my collage today. Um, so I'm going to just put this down. I'm not exactly sure where I want it. I'm kind of thinking over to the edge because the recipe that I'm going to use is an apple crisp recipe. And it's a recipe that my mother um, had in her little recipe book um, and kind of passed it down. It's just an apple crisp um, and it's going to go with my overall theme of apple blossoms. So kind of thinking that we'll put that down about there. Now, I am trying to use runner tape as much as possible, and that's only because um, I'm trying to put as less moisture into my book um, so that it doesn't uh, warp as much. But uh, if you're not worried about that, then, you know, and uh, glue's fine. Uh, glue with a water base is gonna cause more warping um, than like a silicone based. I'm thinking that maybe about there would be fine. And then I'm thinking that I'd put this about here. Um, so the blossom that I'm using um, is a tree with blossoms and I'm using a apple blossom. And I'm from uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. And in Nova Scotia we have a festival every year in the spring um, called the Apple Blossom Festival. And um, our Annapolis uh, Valley is a huge producer of apples, um, and so the last week of May uh, every year is the festival. So I thought that I would go with the apple blossom, uh, and they're so dainty and lovely. I just love them. Um, okay, so that's going to be my apple blossom, and then the date that I'm going to use is really hard to see on the bottom there. But this year's Apple Blossom Festival goes from May the 29th to June the 3rd. Um, so if you're in Nova Scotia um, and you want to partake of some festivities, then um, stop into the Apple Blossom. 
Um, there has all, there was also a commemorative stamp um, in Canada um, that to celebrate the apple blossom. So I'm going to use that as well as a bit of an embellishment. And I got another little picture here of the apple blossoms. And then I just um, went into my scrap bin and I found a bunch of like scrap paper just to add a little bit of color and to kind of uh, make a little frame so that the, I don't know, just kind of sets it apart a little bit. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want everything. The other thing that I got from a book page um, is a little bit about my wild animal, which is going to be the hummingbird. Um, the hummingbird loves the apple blossoms, and without the hummingbirds to pollinate, cross-pollinate, we wouldn't have apples. So in my little picture, I have another little picture of ap apple blossoms here, and you can see this little guy here is a little hummingbird. So I thought I would go with the hummingbirds. I absolutely love having the hummingbirds in my yard. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to tack, I think for now, I'm just going to tack this down in the center. Apple crisp has always been one of those recipes that my mother always made um, because it was a good way to use up some of the apples um, and in the uh, in the in the fall, the fall harvest, they are very cheap here. Like you could go to the farm market and get just bags of them. Um, I'm also going to leave a space behind this one for my prompt. So I'm just going to make a little pocket. I don't know if that's going to make a little pocket because I like to keep my prompt um, in the back page. So I'm thinking that I'll just put that kind of about there. I just thought that's so pretty. I like the kind of greens and pinks when they go together. And the male of the hummingbird is the is the one with the brighter colors. Um, the female is uh, is not uh, is colorful and she's saying hey buddy you want to come to my place and he's saying no I gotta get my pollinating done so I'm just kind of make it a little bit like he's uh, dipping his little beak into the into the blossom there um, okay and then I like I said I just found this uh, I don't know, I got mangled. Oh, I was going to cut a butterfly out of it, I think. Um, and I was kind of thinking that maybe just tuck a little piece there, or maybe. So there's my little map. And we could put that down, maybe like that. And then I did want the word blossom or bloom to. Um, to, to not necessarily that you could read the definition, but I just thought it would be nice to have that. And with the recipe card, I wasn't, you know, I don't care if it, uh, you can read the whole recipe. I like to have the apple crisp thing showing. Um, and then I just thought like with a little strip of the colored uh, paper, just to put a little bit at the bottom, just to kind of set that off a little bit. And then we've got our little uh, plant there and maybe that's not going to work this little map the thing I liked about the map is it showed Nova Scotia and that that's where the hummingbirds this type of hummingbird um, which is called the ruby throated hummingbird um, that's where they like to frequent is that that area but I could kind of put that up there like that and then I could just nestle that there because it doesn't matter if all the words are shown. And then I could raise that a little bit higher. And I like how the pink just, yeah, something like that. Maybe that might. Um, and then I can, I've got a couple other um, 
little stickers. I am going to use just a bit of glue here at the bottom. I do have um, a few little stickers to embellish. I have a little glass mat off to the side here. I don't typically film with it because it leaves a glare. Um, so this morning we woke up for a little like dusting of snow. It was probably about, I don't know, a couple in inches down overnight. Um, so it's our first real day that we've just kind of stayed in and have been watching some movies and just kind of chilling out and relaxing, uh, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I'm going to get that down. Uh, it has turned a bit mild, though, I think, so I don't think the roads are bad or anything. And I can see the snow has melted off the road here in front of me. Um, okay, and then I just want to put this down as a bit of a, just a little bit um, a color on the corner there. And I think that green and this, this pink just go so well together. I hope you all are safe and and you've been not having too difficult time right now is a it's a crazy time that's for sure okay so then I'm just gonna try to put this maybe out to the edge a little bit let's try there and then I think I want the this uh, Annapolis the festival. I think I want that down. I did want that. I might have to end up covering that over. But let's put that there. And then we can tack that there. The the thing with the apple crisp, at least nowadays, is I don't even follow a recipe. I just um, cut up my apples. I, I follow the same ingredients, but the... Um, the quantities often vary. Uh, and sometimes nowadays in the recipe, it just says to bake um, for so long. Um, but sometimes I, I might stew them a little bit first uh, on the just kind of saute them up to soften them a little bit. And then they don't uh, they don't take as, as long to bake. And then I kind of thought with my with my stamp. Oh, that, because then that's like a nice little collage cluster there. I like how that looks. So I am going to put just a wee bit of glue there. Hold that down. And then we'll get our stamp down like that. Okay, so then I think we have all um, the elements. So we've got our something that's come in the mail. We have a blossom and an animal, and a bird is an animal. It's not a mammal. I was thinking there when I was doing the wild animal, I was thinking, is that a bird? But yeah, a bird is a type of animal. I don't know why I was querying that at all. Um, Chester, actually, just a few minutes ago when I was just about to start to film, He's over here on at the end of the craft table, and he does this little chattering when there's birds outside on the, there's a tree outside the win window there, and it's like he's talking to them. So he was doing a little bit of chattering here to the birds just a little while ago. Um, okay, so I think we've got the backbone of things. So we have our birds, we have our blossoms, we have our recipe, we've got a book page, uh, something that's come in the mail, and then we have our date. So... I, th I then kind of went to my stash and I found some little flowers that resemble um, blossoms. I don't think they actually are um, a blossom, but they kind of remind me. So I kind of had those as an option, which I'll stick over to the side. So we do need a little bit of something there. Um, so then I did have this uh, Recollections from Michael's. Um, I got this a while ago. I think I got it like maybe, well, it's been at least, it's been a year a anyway. Uh, maybe not longer than a year, but it has a bunch of birds and different things. Um, and I had gone, initially gone through it and towards the back, uh, oh here, 
there was a bunch of hummingbirds here. So I kind of thought that might be cute that I could put a hummingbird kind of at the bottom there. And then we had, there was a little wreath thing that I thought would work, little chickadees. And if I can find it. Oh yeah, we're coming up here. So there's this little wreath here um, that has the little hummingbirds and a little corner piece. I could put the corner piece there. Um, I didn't really like, those are more fuchsia, so I didn't really want to put those on. Um, I could put that little one but I wanted something for up there. So let's go back to those bigger hummingbirds and see, where are they? Here they are. I didn't really want to put a hummingbird there because I've got two hummingbirds there already, but I could put um, a little one there that I think would, would work. Possibly, I think I'll go back to that, this one here. I'll take this little one and put this one kind of there. And that kind of, it's hard to see on camera, but, but that, that's not bad. Actually, if I can get him up, yeah. What I might do is I'll put down um, a blossom here in the corner Maybe one of these, this one here. And then he can be kind of hovering over okay, there. So we cut out there, but so I put the little flower there and the little hummingbird there. Um, and then I kind of thought uh, down in this corner um, that I could put another one of those um, kind of blossomy type uh, stickers there. Um, and then I had found this one there that's not apple blossoms, but I don't think, but it reminds me a lot of uh, apple blossoms. And I thought it would go good with, um, with this layout. And do I like it better that way? Or do I like it better? I think I like it better that way. So I thought that that would be a good thing up in the corner. And then I had uh, two more kind of littler ones um, that I thought I'll put up um, on the side of the recipe card there. And then I think that it's pretty much has come uh, has come together. Okay, and then there's just this little one here that I mean, we don't have to put it anywhere. It could go there. And then it could kind of go just down here, but I think we've got enough down in that corner. So I think maybe, oh, it could go there. That's kind of cute there. Uh, but that's, uh, yeah, no, I can't, uh, I can't put that there. I don't think that's good. Um, so if you did like this, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. And um, until we meet again then i hope you have um, a safe and healthy week and bye for now